Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, the stock market in general. Uh, I also, you know, the title of the video is gonna be called "I Bought uh, U.S. Steel." I bought uh, a steel company in the United States. I, well, I bought ten thousand dollars worth of U.S. steel stock, so five hundred shares of U.S. steel stock. I also have a call option on it, but. Uh, the call option hasn't executed yet, so I have to wait on that. But uh, today, there's a uh, well. Let's just talk about it. So, this is uh, something I'm promoting. It's from Starseed. It's a private company. It's pretty good. Starseed has pretty good products so far. I haven't tried any of the dried flour, but the uh, the oil, the pre rolls, pretty damn good. I think they're better than the Royals. But uh, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, this is a one gram joint. The cool thing about one gram joints is you can smoke it throughout the day. You don't have to like, you can just put it back in the container, go back out and smoke it later. You don't have to finish off the whole thing. That's what I like about um, pre-roll joints. Uh, one gram joints are excessive. I would rather have a 500, no sorry, uh, Half a gram joints, because it, I you know I like those better. I like those more than the whole one gram joints. So the the market was up today. Uh, it was it started off kind of down and then it just flipped up and now everything's green. Uh, it, I don't know. That's I honestly think that if the trade wars go through. If we have some kind of trade war news today, the stock could be really green. But uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the day. U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel is the company I bought today. I bought about ten thousand dollars worth of U.S. Steel. Uh, I I put a price of twenty thirty on it. I also put a call option on it. So if the stock price goes down and hits my call option, that would be great. But uh, it might not. So we'll see what happens throughout the day. But at least I bought uh, 500, 500 shares of U.S. Steel. I uh, pissed off a Tesla. Like what the hell? I should have did. I should have did a call option on Tesla when it was around three hundred bucks. I would have made a nice, nice return. AMD, fuck AMD. I put put options on AMD, and AMD just keeps skyrocketing. I mean, I understand why it's skyrocketing. It's basically skyrocketing for uh. The CES show, uh, they are expecting some really, really big news from AMD at the CES show. So that's why AMD stock is getting pumped. Mostly, most tech stocks right now are getting pumped because of CES. CES is pretty big for tech, and CES is going on right now. Uh, General Electric. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why I have this up here. Uh, but uh, it looks like it's I don't know it looks like it's recovering the stock price I wonder how long how far it will go up before it pulls back down could be a good opportunity to buy if it ever pulls back down big PG more well, I mean for swing trade I, I'm not calling it a long-term investment there's lots of problems with GE but I would say a good swing trade would be if it ever dips back down big time but this is just my opinion though not advice to buy proper and gamble the stock is very very stable I, I was actually thinking of doing a what is it uh, short on Procter and Gamble at uh, 97 like basically $92 but uh, we might not have a recession after all, so I'm going to hold off on shorting any stock. I have to be careful. Make sure I short things that uh, I only know I can win on. Microsoft. I was I was planning to do a call option on Microsoft today, but I didn't, and now the stock is rising. I was like, around here, I was like, oh, should I do a call option on Microsoft, but I didn't, so I kind of lost on that one. Apple, I do have, I think I ha I put a put option on Apple. I don't know if it got executed yet, but I have a put option on Apple today. Facebook, Facebook, uh, 
I have a put option on Facebook, and Facebook is acting like I want it to, going down while the rest of the market is going up. So I'm happy. Maybe, maybe it'll keep going down. Uh, I mean, if it rallies up to 145, that I would definitely put another put option on it. But uh, I'm hoping it rallies back down so I can make some money off Facebook put options. I'm actually under. I actually understand options a little bit more. I'll probably make a video later in my membership group about what my new experience of learning put options and call options are. I, over the weekend I like was watching some videos on put options and call options and options in general and I'm going to be making another video on it in my membership group. Uh, Amazon I wish I had a call option on Amazon a while back. That would have been nice. Like, I don't know. Like when it was one fi one fi one f one thousand five hundred twelve bucks. It would have been a nice call option. I guess that guy on uh, in my YouTube was correct. He said put a call option on Amazon at six dollars and fifty cents. Oh, sorry, five dollars and fifty cents. I can't remember. Fifteen fifty. 1580 or something he said um, and it's kind of rising like big time right now uh, so you know, good good job you did a good job even though you know it, things were looking pretty bad with Apple coming out with that horrible horrible news that pulled on the market and then it flipped and Amazon still going up so you correct oh now we're getting on to the cannabis stocks cron Back to its all-time highs. Wait, its all-time highs? No, nope, nope. A dollar away from its all-time highs, but uh, yeah, Cron is a uh, Cron is low volume. Wait, is the volume low today? Let me look. Had a huge spike of volume right here, and then oh, the volume actually picked up quite a bit today, but the stock price is not reflecting it. Namaste, Namaste, high volume, and the price is actually holding up. Uh, so I think my theory in my uh, stock market membership is right about why Namaste is going up, and I mean if it if it. Yeah, so if you haven't seen it yet, maybe I'll make an update to my Namaste video, uh, a a including my options today on my membership group. Uh, canopy growth, canopy growth went up uh, 3% today, pretty good. Let's see the volume, the volume looks pretty decent for the day. See, T God, T God had uh, like really good volume, but the stock price is con like it's not really moving. Uh, but uh, maybe this is the bottom. Maybe, maybe it'll just stabilize for a while and then it'll have a big spike to three dollars or four dollars. Maybe the volume is pretty good on T God, so. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Aurora. Aurora still has... It's okay right now. The volume's okay right now, but I think it's going to slow down throughout the day. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Aurora didn't really get a big boost today. Um, I think it's coming. I think, I think Aurora... Wait, actually, never mind. I'm not going to talk about Roy because I already made a video about Roy. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future updates. Oh, my God. 9 minutes and 24 seconds. <laughs> Let's see where the market is. The market is uh, 39. The, I'm sorry. The market is doing pretty, pretty well. Pretty well right now. How about Apple? I wonder if my uh, Apple. Oh, my Apple uh, car put option executed. So if the price keeps going up, I'm screwed. But if the price drops from here, I am good. Golden. So we'll see what happens. Uh, 
Maybe I'll do an update at the end of the day on my on my put up on my put option on Apple. Uh in my membership group too, I'll explain exactly what it means and stuff. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye!